everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. Maybe you are about to re-decorate your kitchen or maybe you are about to cleaning your craft room and you will need some organizers. Today I'm coming to share with you how you can make a really fast way and very easy way these cute little books which can be perfect as a tea book or which can be perfect as a small ephemera die cut organizer. Anything what you will want. You can use six by six papers, paper pads, or you can create your pages from newspapers. And I will show you in this tutorial how you can make it. It's really very easy and it's so much fun. I hope you will enjoy it. For making these cute little tea books or uh, ephemera organizers, you need uh, some large envelope or any large cereal boxes and then newspapers or if you would like to have it decorative you can use the six by six paper pad. Today I'm gonna be using newspapers and from newspapers I'm gonna be cutting my papers. First I'm gonna create my basic papers uh, for the pockets and I'm gonna create them from newspapers of course. I need to have that paper a little bit thicker than it's this one, the newspaper paper. It's very fragile and it's very thin. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rip it on half, rip the other part on pieces. I'm gonna do some straps, some strips. So I'm gonna rip the newspapers on small pieces, which will be much more easy to glue them on this larger sheet. I'm gonna take a glue stick and always I'm going to take one small piece, apply the glue. And glue it on larger piece. It doesn't matter which way. I'm making little collage out of my newspapers. So it really doesn't matter. Here it's just about reinforcing the newspaper. I do have my six by six inches sheets from newspapers done. So I do have nine sheets, six by six. That's what you need. Now, very easy way. Fold the sheet half. And then open and fold the opposite side again half. If you do have paper punch and you would like to create entry to those pockets, use paper punch. I'm going to be using this circle paper punch. I'm going to find kind of like middle of this and punch half of circle here or not. Okay. <laughs> you will probably have to have harder, uh, stronger paper for punching, I think. My newspapers are not too strong and they are folding, but you will cut a punch like this or entry like this and then open it and fold the back again. So when you will sew it here, you will have one pocket here, one pocket here. Do this with all nine sheets you have. So I do have prepared my pieces. Uh, I also used distress ink. You don't have to use distress ink if you don't have it. I did use uh, Distress Ink from Spectrum Noir, Harmony Line, and this is called Smoked Pearl. And uh, I just added with Distress Ink tool. This is, by the way, my Distress Ink tool. Uh, it's supposed to be a cube for sanding your nails. I just cut it on half and I'm using it for distressing. Just tap the ink. <coughs> And then with the soft hand, I'm editing the ink 
to the edges to make them darker but you don't have to use that if you don't have it you can take maybe some marker and do some doodling this is your palette so de decorate it the way you want i think i'm gonna add here uh, kind of like edges with the marker first with the black one to go all around of the edges and also around the folds from both sides so first here and on that other side then here just some easy doodling or take some stamps if you have them and use your stamps I'm gonna do just very easy doodling to decorate the both sides and now you can take maybe another different color I do have here this gold one and I'm gonna do just simple stitching in that in that black marker and again all around so decoration like this very easy to do and it does have you know some beautiful effect on your piece I do have my doodling all around of uh, those pieces I also made zigzag stitching on that opposite edge from these kind of notches and I reinforce it with medical tape just to make sure that it will don't get ripped off so first I sew it and then I placed this medical tape over that sewing or that stitching to make sure it will be strong enough to hold and uh, I can also sew these edges now together and with that make the pocket or what I'm gonna do I'm gonna be using these address stickers address labels these labels and brown tape and i will seal the sides with these tapes and with these labels so always i will grab ah, this one uh, grab the label or this brown tape and cover the edges and make some small layout using these here I can put this one and I can also use this kitchen label and maybe place it here just like this and again I'm gonna grab this brown tape or you can just simply put the glue here and seal it down of course but I want to cover a few of these images <laughs> because I don't like them if that there will be just simple um, you know calligraphy some text that will be perfect but unfortunately I had a newspaper where there was so many pictures of football with football team So I can make layouts like this on both sides actually and prepare with this my pocket so I do have uh, glued the tape and stickers some way every time it's different and because I do like vintage style uh, I'm gonna be using this uh, ink it's again from spectrum noir harmony line and this is called a sandstorm and it's beautiful vintage it gives to my project beautiful vintage look i'm gonna be using this brush it's my <laughs> makeup brush broken makeup brush which is perfect to use for editing just light shades to give to my papers slightly vintage look i don't want to go too dark just this light shadow and i'm gonna do it do it on all of my uh, pockets so i do have distressed all <clears throat> these pockets and uh, the last thing i'm gonna do like decoration i'm gonna bring my stamps i do have here this beautiful collection from tim holtz these block uh, block upper uh, letters and i'm gonna be using them to stamp 
letters on each of these pockets. Here I'm going to be using black ink, again from Spectrum, Spectrum Noir Harmony line. This is called Noir Black. And I'm going to be just stamping the letters where I think they will look nice. Oh, I'm going to start here. So like this, and I'm going to go uh, alphabetically on each pocket one letter. So I do have stamped letters and then because I didn't have enough letters, I continued with numbers. I do have that, that but it's still kind of like plain. <laughs> so I found uh, in my stuff and they are also on my Etsy, these beautiful butterfly stickers. They are transparent, uh, plastic transparent stickers, really beautiful. It's there, how many? 40 pieces of these gorgeous uh, butterflies and it's called phantom butterfly so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put there kind of like circle stamp with the flowers this i found on um, aliexpress i do believe so always what i'm gonna do just stamp somewhere the flower then Take a butterfly. Which one? Which one? I'm gonna place here. Maybe this one. Like this. It's going to be a little bit softer, not that harsh. So I'm going to continue with all of these pockets. Put there the circle stamp first. And then choose butterfly on it. I do have prepared my pages and now I'm gonna prepare the cover and sew the pages inside. For making the cover on that organizer I'm gonna be using this old envelope. It's from very nice thick cardboard. You can use any kind of cereal boxes and because uh, my pocket pages when I will put three in the row they do measure nine inches. So they do measure nine inches. I'm gonna actually keep this one, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this side of envelope, which is nine and a half. So I'm gonna cut the piece and nine and a half from this. So I do have piece of my envelope. Here it's nine and a half, and here I'm gonna cut it on seven and a half. Seven and a half, and I'm gonna score this piece three and one quarter, three and a half. Three and three quarter, four, four and one quarter, and here I do have the cover. I'm gonna fold first score line, and last score line. The score lines between will help me to navigate. It will navigate me where I should stitch the pockets so i will see that better 
I would like to reinforce the spine for that. I'm gonna take a sport tape. It's a fabric tape and it's self-adhesive tape. I do have here this medical tape. I'm gonna place it over the spine. And stick it here. Now I'm gonna grab my pocket pages and I'm gonna take this foam mat. I'm gonna use it to place it under my pockets when I will make the holes in it. Because I use those six by six, this is three inches, and I'm gonna punch the holes. I would say one quarter of inch from the edges on all of them same way one quarter of inch from the bottom and one quarter of inch from the top And I will do exactly the same with all of these pages. I do have poked the holes. Now I'm going to take three of these. I'm going to bring back uh, my book cover. And I'm gonna place these pockets into my book cover the way where I can see that they will fit nicely. There will be always space between them and I can place them into that book page, uh, into that book cover. And now I'm gonna poke the holes where I do have holes here on these pockets. So on that first score line, I'm going to poke the holes in the spots which I see onto those pockets, onto those pocket pages. So here, then next one, it's here and here. And next one. here and here so I do have poked the holes so and now I'm gonna poke the holes in same measurement on other two lines so I do have my holes onto my spine. Now I'm going to take same tape and I'm going to place it here inside. Just to cover the spine. And I'm going to poke the holes one more time from this side to make sure they will be visible and easy to access. So I do have holes through. Now I can take some decorative papers and decorate the cover. I'm going to be using this beautiful vintage striped paper from uh, this paper paper pad tropical state of mind it's from craft sensations and it's really beautiful gorgeous papers i found it in the works 
shop here in UK. So a really beautiful paper pad, strong papers, and I'm gonna cut four pieces of the paper, uh, three inches by nine and just bear with me, three inches by nine and one quarter. I do have my pieces prepared, and I'm just gonna glue them easily inside and outside. I have distressed everything with the same ink I used at the start on my pockets and just place the paper into my cover and same will be outside this is a back cover before I will place the paper inside of the front cover I'm gonna take this and glue it on the front cover now I do have here this metal label and I would like to have it on my book cover so I'm gonna take my poking foam I'm gonna take I think this large ruler place it to the edge of my cover here I'm gonna place the label hold it there I'm gonna poke the holes here and here and with two brads I'm gonna fix the label on the front cover And now I can put inside paper the cover, the brats. And once I do have prepared the base cover, I can start to stitch. So I can take first three uh, pockets and I'm gonna start with the bottom one, open it, and where there is the first hole in my book cover, I'm gonna put the needle to that pocket and through to that first hole in my book cover I am using just simple thread embroidery thread for sewing my pockets here I'm keeping quite long piece of thread outside and I'm gonna take second one go to pocket through to that next hole here and next hole here just to continue with the holes I prepared and continue with sewing the pockets And I'm gonna take the top pocket and again through to that pocket to the hole here. And back again. And here you can go around the book cover and go to that hole here or you can go straight away down there and go kind of like uh, around the opposite way and to that next hole just to make you know sewing in next hole here every spot where you don't see the thread you will feel the thread right now and here and here you can tie the knot
and you are ready to move to another row of the pockets so I'm gonna sew the next row to those middle dots or middle holes and then the next row to those last ones and then it's your little organizer maybe for tea bags or maybe for uh, some small die cuts, ephemera, anything you want to add in there, it's done. Uh, it's very easy to make it, it's brilliant as a gift because it doesn't take too much time and I do believe you do have material for it already at home. Just have an open mind what you can use for it, cereal boxes for cover, newspaper for inside pockets you can put newspaper also outside as a cover of your mini book and you will create beautiful gifts it in a no long time and i do believe you will enjoy it it's easy and fun and uh it's yeah it's easy and fun <laughs> i hope you did enjoy this video i hope you found some inspiration thank you so much for jumping in today thank you so much for spending your time with me have a beautiful day, take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye!